Jane Madey here, and today we are going to talk about drawing a cute little doodle turkey. So I'll show you what my supplies are. I've got um, an Archer and Olive blank paper journal here. This original one I drew in my dot journal. I've got a pencil and eraser. Some Faber Castell uh, Pit Artist brush pens for coloring, and I've got this Ohuhu Ohuhu Fine Liner pen for doing the ink lines. So to start, what you're going to do is draw this little egg shape. I kind of already had it started just for time purposes. So this will be the body. Then you draw kind of a fan shape here at the back, and that's going to turn into the tail. Then to draw the head, this might take a little bit of practice and adjusting, but it's kind of a shape like that, and it's going to go across the body. See, it joins on to the body. Then we've got your little legs spots here and a wing like that and to add the details here's the beak and the beak has what's called a wattle that's that red flap that hangs down on our turkey and there's his eye now the feet take a little bit of practice but you just want to draw a shape like that. And they overlap, so this one sticks out behind that one. And you just draw a line there to indicate how the toes are separated. Now we'll start doing the feathers of the tail like that. Let's make that a bit bigger. And you want to round the tops of them so they come in on these lines. There we go. And this, the feathers of a turkey, they have this stripe that goes across. And then we'll add a little more detail there to make it look more like feathers. And then you're going to kind of scallop the bottom of the neck like that, and that makes it look more feathery. So now we're going to go over all those lines with a fine liner. You can use any brand of fine liner, but pick one that is waterproof because we're going to color this with markers and if your lines aren't waterproof, then they will smudge. So just go over it like that. There's his eye. And the wattle. There we go. Just follow along the pencil lines. And since this is a doodle, you don't have to be really too worried about perfection. That's one thing that I like about doodling is it's just for fun. This isn't a realistic turkey. It's, it's just something to draw that's cute and fun. Sometimes my hands shake a bit, but that's okay. And then draw those lines going down like that. Whoops. Cross. Go 
and across again. And that's got the drawing part finished. So now we're going to erase the pencil lines from underneath there, like that. This is just a plain plastic eraser, it's nothing fancy. There we go. Now you can leave it just as a black and white outline if you want, or you can color it in. Either way is fine. So to color it, I've got my pens here. Let's start by coloring in his head like this. I usually like to leave a little bit of white around the eye because I think that makes it stand out better. And also, even with a waterproof pen, there's a risk that the lines will smudge. And I tell you, if you color over that eye and it smudges, you just want to throw the sketchbook across the room. It's so frustrating. So, there we go. And let's do the beak and legs next with this dark yellow color. The wattle is red. Now I've got a light color to do the light stripe at the back of the tail, at the top of the tail, I mean. Let's do it along the edge of the wing as well. When I color, I try and make the direction of my coloring strokes go in the direction of the body. You don't want to kind of just scribble because sometimes when the coloring lines overlap, you can tell it leaves a little dark line. And so you want the, the strokes to kind of go in the right direction. And finally, let's do the tail. Let's get a darker color for the tail. Oh, I broke my own rule there. I went the wrong direction with the coloring. I guess that's what they mean by do as I say, not as I do. And then the last color, let's do the very top of the tail with a slightly different brown.
And this shows you the very basic coloring for the turkey. Now, if you want to add shading, there's several different ways you can go about that. You can stick to using just markers or the Faber-Castell pit pens, they are waterproof, so you can use watercolor over the top, you can use colored pencil, like for example, you know, if you wanted to use markers for shading, you can just go back in and do some shading like this. And you don't have to do any shading at all if you don't want to. Or you can use watercolor. Um, let's make the top of the turkey's head a bit more reddish because that's how it is in, in real life. We'll add some red to the top. Like that. And then you can just blend it out like that if you want to. And you can add a little bit of shading like that. Or the other thing you can use if you want to is colored pencils. And so let's put a pencil here. So you can do a little shading like this. Just if you if you feel like it. These are just showing you some different methods that you can try. You can you can use whatever is most comfortable for you. Now, what if you wanted to add some highlights? Well, one way I like to do that is uh, to use, these are acrylograph pens and they are opaque acrylic paint inside there. So you shake it up real good. And uh, just test, oops, this one's, the. I got the wrong one out. That one has too thick of a point. They come in three millimeter and seven millimeter points. So let's get one out that is the right point. Yeah, that, that looks right. Shake it up real good. And now if you want to add a highlight, you can just draw the highlight on like that, wherever you want it to go. So this gives you an idea of some different ways you can color and paint and draw a turkey for Thanksgiving pages in your journal. Smudge that one a little bit. You know what? I'm just going to fix that. There you go. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I hope I see you again next time. Bye-bye.